Hello everyone, this is ZGL with another Resident Evil 7 Biohazard speedrunning guide. This time we're going to take a look at the Evelyn final boss fight. We're going to look at the easy New Game Plus categories of any percent and 100%. This is going to work in both of those. Um, it's going to work mostly the same in console and PC. There's a slight difference towards the end of the fight, and I'll explain that when I get to it. Um, it's a little bit easier to be consistent with on console. But like I said, we'll get to that uh, here in just a moment. So first we're going to take a look at the items that you need for this boss fight. Pretty much you only need the circular saw, which is a big part of why I've said that this is probably the easiest fight in the game. Um, as soon as you stab little Evie in the neck and uh, heal her, or cure her, she turns into old woman Evie and kind of disintegrates in front of you and then uh, she turns into a big Dianoga monster basically and uh, that's pretty much where the fight will pick up um, up to that point is just kind of watching animations most of this fight really is animations so as soon as you're able to control Ethan here you're gonna run forward and pull out your saw and then just stand here holding the left trigger and right trigger until she knocks you away and uh, that's right now because you've done enough damage to her she knocks you back and then throws you out of the house there's not really anything that you do at this point because you're again put into animations so we'll watch as Ethan starts to come back from being unconscious I guess and then uh, He'll sit up a little bit. Not really sit up. He doesn't really move. But at this point, you don't have to really do much. Um, you'll see a lot of people that just shoot Eevee here because it's they're bored. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'll pull this out and kind of saw and do some damage as she's throwing her limbs at me. But up to that point, there's nothing that you had to do. Um, really the next big part for us where we do more damage is when she picks us up right here and if you pull the saw out and you look down you hold out left trigger and right trigger it's immediate she drops you again so from this point we go through more animations and we wait for the uh, the people from umbrella to tell us to use it in reference to the Albert pistol, which this is the real Albert pistol as opposed to the one that we use uh, through the run. That one's like a modified one that's not supposed to be as strong. That's the lore anyways. But on console, this is where it's different. You take four shots without moving your controller, like you don't touch either one of your sticks, and it's just hip fire, and you will kill Evelyn. On PC, it's only a little bit different because of mouse sensitivity. You could accidentally move outside of where it's an automatic win for four shots. So that's pretty much the Evelyn fight. I know this one was really simple, and I questioned whether or not I should even make a boss fight video for this fight because of how easy it is, but I wanted to make sure that this was a complete collection and maybe other people are doing things that are significantly more different or difficult because they're not aware of how simple this is so thank you all for watching and come back for more resident evil 7 biohazard speedrunning guides